So, hi. Um, yesterday, my friend Eileen uh, tweeted to me about this um, CIA account on Twitter that was, uh, I guess, well, let's take a look at it. Um, if we go to this tweet here, you'll see, um, you know, that somebody's hoping that uh, somebody's collecting the um, tweets from the CIA account uh, because they were... I guess, like reenacting or reliving the killing of Osama bin Laden on Twitter yesterday. And uh, some of the reactions to it were really, uh, you know, understandably um, uh, critical. So um, we were, uh, Eileen was talking about possibly um, trying to collect the tweets and um, I thought I would just show really quickly how you can do this uh, with web recorder um, and uh, actually it's good for recording any web page uh, or set of web pages so what we'll do is we'll go over to um, the, uh, the account for CIA and we'll just copy and paste the, the URL here and then I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to go to webrecorder.io and I'm just going to paste the URL for the Twitter account in here and then click record. And what you'll see is the same page comes up and I can, uh, you can see I can you know scroll down and the way that Twitter works, uh, you know, a lot of these pages Will work this way. As you get to the bottom, you'll notice that um, it will load more content. So it's called like infinite scroll. And so if you want to get all of this, um, Ilya Kramer, who is the creator of uh, Web Recorder, added this little button up here called auto, auto scroll, which you can click. And it will actually sort of auto scroll the page for you. Um, and over up here you can see kind of the size of the uh, content that we're creating is increasing. I actually don't really know how far back the CIA's uh, Twitter account goes. Um, you can kind of take my word for it that it will keep going until it gets back to the beginning. Um, so let's let's stop this for a moment. And um, so let's say we're, we're done collecting for now. Um, what we can do is we can go over to this browse collection page. You can see, you know, in this collection that we created, we only have one URL. Um, <clears throat> and you can see when it was recorded. And what we can do is you know, the cool thing is that you can kind of go over to the storage tab here and you can see, oh, uh, I can download the data and it downloads as this um, in this format called a work file, which is a web archiving file. So what I'll do is I'll download that. And I'll pull it over onto my desktop here. You can see it's a it's a just a file. Now, so, uh, you know, this is interesting because um, all the content that we saw over here um, on the CIA uh, Twitter account is present in this file. And to prove that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, uh, another tool Ilya created called, um, uh, what is it, the Web Archive Player? And... Um, so the way this works is it's a uh, tool that you can you can run uh, it, it, on uh, your desktop on your you know Mac uh, or Windows um, uh, desktop or it runs on Linux too. But uh, he has some two files that make it really easy to download and run um, if you use Windows or Mac. Um, and uh, so when you run it, it basically asks for the work file to open. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to 
Um, I'm going to close out this file here. Just leave this. Well, I can actually close the browser here. So, and um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to turn off the net, uh, network. So up here, so just to prove to you that it's actually all coming from this file, I'm just going to turn off my Wi-Fi. So now if I go back to, um, oh, that's another page here. <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll go like to, uh, what, New York Times or something. And you can see there's no internet connection, right? So let's go back uh, over here and open our um, uh, work file that I downloaded. And you'll see it right here, right? And um, you can see that a little box came up saying Web Archive Player 1.3. And you can also see that it opened my browser again. Um, and you just see kind of a generic uh, page that describes what's in the work file. And you can see um, there's that uh, the Twitter account for CIA here. And so I can actually click on that. And here you see the page as it looked when we collected it, right? Um, and the cool thing is, <clears throat> remember how it loaded dynamically the bottom here. You can see that that same thing is going on with the web archiving player, right? So it's dynamically going and getting that content, but it's all coming from that file that we downloaded. So, so what you have here is a, a work file with the data and then this web archive player, which um, which is able to read the data and then make it available to your browser. And actually, if you happen to look at the URL at the top of the screen, you'll see um, it. the The host name is localhost. So the what web archive player really is is just a little web server that runs on your on your desktop and that reads the data from the work file and makes it available. Um, yeah, so I thought uh, I would just do a quick little um, demo of that. I'm sure that, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's useful or not, but um, uh, I thought I would just uh, show how it's fairly easy to use. Okay, thanks.